the engineer Andreas Pine and and he he invented as a, the a machine which is called hydrojet and you cut liver and brain and uh, kidneys without damaging the vessels and he thought he could use it for other purposes and he thought what about liposuction he transformed his machine used a metal cannula and the stream the water stream the water chat was um, di directed towards a, a metal plate so it got um, a shape like this and you could put it in the fatty tissue and it, it, it could rinse um, literally the fat cells out of the of the tissue when you think about TLA how do you remove the fat cells you put in the fluids and wait the fat cells enlarge and enlarge they have to reach the watermelon consistency when it's hard like a, a watermelon then you are happy and then you start with your liposuction we use the same fluid it has a little bit changed we have reduced the amount of medication but you don't need the consistency so you only have to make the, the, the fatty tissue numb. As soon as it's numb, you start with your liposuction. First of all, you don't need that amount of fluid. So you have never a fluid overload. You don't change the tissue itself. So your feeling, your palpation is always as it was at the beginning. And the patient doesn't feel like a balloon. That's, it doesn't matter, it might, the, the patient will cope with it, but it's much more comfortable if you blow the patient up like this. And the most, the most important reason for the patient is re, you reduce the amount of operation. So in 97% of my patients I do even heavy legs in two operations, which is not done, uh, not can be done in, with tumescence because you have a certain limitation to your fluid that you take in and into your body. You usually, after this uh, towel, you have these blue lips. That means your methemoglobin has risen so much that your oxygen level has decreased. So, in previous days, we are always afraid when, when we let the people home with these blue lips and we ask them, have you a friend of you staying with you? So, with well, it never occurs because we don't have this amount of fluid. We put in the water and rinse the fat cells out and the, the negative pressure collects only the, the fat cells which has loosened before. That's the difference. It's non-contact with the fat cells. You keep the, your water pressure in front of your cannula and it rinses out the fat cell and you don't have to get the fat cell into your cannula and as soon as you pull it out you tear out the fat cells that's how liposuction works with the conventional liposuction you can use the cannula as a sword or you can your cannula be gentle just moving a little bit only to feel the, the tissue and then you won't harm the tissue. I'm a, a handicraft man, so I, I, I could see the advantage in the technique. And I decided immediately, I will do this. And as I said, I, I have proven it on 25 patients. And I asked them afterwards, what would you prefer? And 24 said, well, no question. We have asked our patient from zero to 10 on the scale on, on, on your, on your uh, how is your pain? One is very moderate pain, five is severe, and seven is very severe, and ten is an unbearable pain. It's that what you call agony. So you can't stand, you can't live with the pain anymore. And I was surprised, despite the fact that I do this treatment for 15 years, I was really shocked when I found out that most of them are in this severe, very severe, unbearable region. So I was really, I, I, I thought I have to reconsider the condition again. 
and more surprisingly was the situation when you talk about the emotional pain. It's the pain in your soul that you suffer due to your different shape, due to your pain, and that's the result. Almost all of them, even then 10, and the, the, the patient told me 10 is not enough. Write down 25. I feel absolutely, absolutely in, 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 a, in a situation where I can't cope anymore. Out of 100, seven have committed an attempt to suicide. Seven out of 100, that's an incredible amount. So one, devil, one can't even think of it because that makes us responsible for all the sleepy ladies which try to com commit suicide and some of them are of course successful. They won't even reach the doctor before they have died. So that makes us so responsible for all the sleepy ladies. And it, it makes me really nervous when, when I did this, this study that we will miss a lot of patients which have no doctor who diagnose the, the, the disease and they can't see another solution for them just to die. It's, yeah. As I said, we doctors have to be, we have to take the responsibility for these ladies. When they um, uh, announce they have 10 and we did the liposuction, they are down to one or down to zero. And that's almost 100%, I would say. If, if, the, if the liposuction is done properly, they are free of pain. That's the, why I think liposuction is the basic treatment for lipedema patients, because we get them pain-free. Not beautiful, not this, all this, but they are pain-free. And it makes them, their, their life, their quality of life is coming back to almost normal.